Well, so, you know, as you know, we're, uh, um, we're not just a uh, theater performance, art gallery, mm. uh, collective of video makers. Uh, we're also um, a research institution. And um, one of the things we've been working on lately is, is uh, papyrology. And um, that's, uh, you know. The study of. Um, papyruses. And, yes. Um, and then we found a really ancient one in our studio um, mm -hmm. one day in Highland Park. Um, we were digging the up the concrete. Yeah, because we were going to put in a new something, whatever. Sink. It's, it's Sink. a fragment. So it was, we found a fragment of a play. Um, I don't know, we think it's Euripides, but we're not sure. Um, it was originally in hieroglyphics. Right, but, they were, but it was written backwards, and so we had to put it in a mirror. We and translated we had to translate it. We translated it. Sanskrit. And we and translated it in Sanskrit. And then, and then we got a, yeah, And then we got an app that translates French into English, mm -hmm. and that's how we have this text. So um, what we need you guys to do is, you're all going to participate in a very, you know, kind of passive-aggressive manner, um, just by sitting there and... <laughs> <laughs> um, reading, reading. Uh, you're going to play the chorus. Of course, you know Greek tragedy. It's, it's a tragedy, of course it is. But you're it has a happy voice. ending, which is weird. But you're it, it's a tragedy. You're the voice of the people. You're and the you're voice the chorus. of society. Exactly. That's what so you're going to read whatever is on the screen when it says chorus. That's you guys, all right? And you know you've practiced it for a while, so I expect it to be completely in sync and and like hit your beats. But um, let's just we start could, with this. We could um, try this. So, try this. So why As don't a group, we all let's read just this all together. read this, what's on the screen. So starting with... One, two, three. Grow people's, grow people's theater. Cassandra. Okay, so you can pronounce it Cassandra if you want, but I prefer Cassandra. We think that's a little more accurate to the ancient meaning. Yeah, like Cassandra, I think that's actually more of a... Um, that's the French. That's a French vacation. That's a Frenchification. Oh, look, pearls everywhere. It's like showgirls. I am Cassandra, princess of Troy, historically represented as a mad, crazy woman tormented by visions of death and destruction. A psychic whose psyche is traumatized. I can look into the future and see everything that's going to happen. I cannot change the coming events for no one will listen to me. I represent environmentalists and other people whose warnings go unheeded. Lo, lo, it is my mother, Hecuba and my brother's girlfriend, Helen of Sparta. <laughs> in the future, in the future, people will still be named Cassandra like me and Helen like her, but not Hecuba. <laughs> I know this because I'm having a vision right now. It is so strange. The sun burns some while others it warms. Fifty children had I once, and now all but one are dead. A capable seeming woman, matriarchal, but always curtailed by the men in her life. In the classical tradition, women were slain by male actors in drag, while actual women were banned from the stage. The classical plays can now be regarded as allies in a project of suppressing actual women and replacing them with the mass of the patriarchal production. I am Helen. Do you all despise me? <laughs> you are free to say, with your ship launching face, oh, Helen of Troy. Of Troy? But I am a foreigner here. My boyfriend's Trojan family is racist against me. That is a serious accusation. I blame my boyfriend's mother for all my problems because 
She gave birth to my boyfriend, and he ruined my life. <laughs> Hecuba, it was you who mothered all of this wickedness. It was Paris, not I, who ruined Troy and me. I, sold once for my body's beauty, now stand accused who should wear garlands on her head. What are you saying? It's just different for pretty girls, with different challenges in life, OK? Uh, I'm so done with this. You stupid, stupid girl. Can't you see that you're but an excuse for corporate men with competing economic interests to engage in competitive sport? Yes, because I am pretty. I don't think you're that pretty. <laughs> mother, 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 I cannot concentrate, for I am deeply concerned with re recent events that are fearful and things to come which are much, much worse. I have a few suggestions about how the world should be run. But don't stand back with any exceptional ideas. We want to hear them. But darling, can't you see that we are slaves now and have lost what little personhood we once had? We are but objects. that women not need relate to these roles or even identify with them. And so it came to pass that Cassandra was taken by my husband, Agamemnon, and I, Clytemnestra, whose name is so wonderful, Clytemnestra, sister of Helen, whose name is kind of boring, Helen, and Cassandra, whose name is common, Cassandra. Should I call you Cassie, or Sandra, or Sandy? It really doesn't matter to me that much. Sandy, you are dating my husband, and I don't like it. I've been ruling this country for 10 years. And yes, I had a boyfriend, but oh, have you met my daughter, Electra? <laughs> I'm Electra. <laughs> Mine's the best name of all. It reminds one of lightning bolts and dancing late at night in nightclubs in Athens or Ibiza. <laughs> Everyone thinks of me as a spoiled rich girl who wants to fuck her father and kill her mother, and I resent that. <laughs> Cassandra, I blame you. Why must we fight? We must fight to keep their attention, or else they'll all leave. <laughs> they get bored so easily. I'm bored right now. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they could do so much more. Theater can be a model for the forms that we hope to create. We can act out dissent and affirmation. We can reconfigure the event as a process and invert the hierarchical stage. The audience becomes the cast, and then the cast gets naked and rolls around together. Come on, guys, let's do it. <laughs> no! For we are costumed, all of us, in rich fabrics from all over the world. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, by Apollo! By Apollo! Oh, even in the utopian theater, we are enmeshed in globalism. <laughs> These fabrics are petroleum-based. <laughs> Let's flip the script. <laughs> Let's leave the house of Atreus together and start a co-op. 
I, Electra, have a plan for a sustainable housing shelter, which I shall call the Electra Complex. <laughs> and so it came to be that Clyde and Jessica, Electra, and Cassandra have three scattered to found a new land, which should come to be known as France, the most cultured of all cultures of the world, thanks to Japan. Our home in the future, those who see the human just around the corner, will come to be called. Thank you, that was the Cassandra. <laughs>